How do you protect an endangered species like scalloped hammerhead sharks from being hunted into extinction? You limit the trade or you end the trade in these, in these species. Rand is trying to save these sharks from being fished into extinction for their fins, the main ingredient in shark fin soup. To control the trade of these fins, he wants to see these sharks listed at CITES. The Convention of the International Trade in Endangered Species. Uh, and, and 175 countries are a party to this convention. Essentially, this is the Olympics of protecting endangered species. It's at this conference that countries of the world negotiate which plants and animals will be protected from trading. Get the sharks listed here, and you will knock out a huge global trade in, in these species. Demand may still be there, um, but you're going to make trade in endangered species of, that are protected under CITES significantly more difficult. The idea is that if a fisherman can't trade or make money selling the fins of these sharks, then there's not a whole lot of reason to continue harvesting them in the first place. This organization is protected, um, for instance, um, elephants and the trade in ivory. Um, it has protected trees, mahogany, um, to ensure that mahogany is not being traded and, and, and it's sustainable. Um, it, it's protected American alligator, which, is, which has caused American alligators to come back. Um, so this, this treaty has been very effective in protecting endangered species from trade. These regulations would be enforced not on the high seas, but at the port of entry into various countries. At every border where there's transshipment of, of international goods, there's officers there checking that, that, uh, that uh, trade. At the 2010 CITES conference in Doha, Qatar, Rand hopes eight species of sharks will become protected by CITES regulations. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.